Hey guys, and welcome back to another uh, Substance Painter tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little video of how to make your own custom alphas with Inside Substance Painter. Well, you don't make them with Inside Substance Painter, but you can import them to use in Substance Painter. So under the alphas um, tab in our shelf, you can see we have all these different types of um, black and white images, like all alphas are. And uh, white is pretty much what you're going to have, and black is what's not going to be there. So the way that alphas work is if you make a paint layer, you can now paint with alphas. So if you scroll up and down, the default alpha is just a circle. But if I wanted to throw this uh, arrow inside of a circle, I just click it, or I can click and drag it over the alpha. And now when I zoom in, you can see there's that same little logo on our um, Jade Toad, and you can paste uh, things on there. So you can use it with all the, th all the different settings. You can paint it red. Um, I have some height set on it, so usually it's set to zero, so it'll just be just the, the logo at that point. Um, you can paint all, all the different roughness. You can paint it with uh, metallic height, all of that stuff. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to quickly make one of those import it in to Substance Painter for you to use. So uh, open up any software you can, render out uh, JPEGs or PNGs. And um, what I did here is I just made a 10 by 10 or 10 inch by 10 inch or 1,000 pixel by 1,000 pixel, anything. It doesn't have to be square, but I like it to be square. And put a black um, rectangle as your background. And then whatever you want. Um, to show through or apply onto your object will be in white. So this could be a shape, this could be uh, a word, this can be, I don't know, arrows, anything you want. Anyways, so once you get this, you're going to go ahead and export it. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop, call this Nick Alpha. And then when we come back into Substance Painter, what we're going to do is there's this little button here on your shelf that's an arrow going into a box that says import resources. You're going to want to click that and then you're going to get a little window that opens up. So you're going to click add resources, find wherever you sell your saved your, uh, your alpha that you want. And I'm just going to click open. So now we can see that it says Nick alpha PNG and it says undefined and optional prefix. So this prefix is what you're going to search when you want to look it up. So I can just type in Nick if I want to. And then I just need to search for Nick to find my alpha. And then you have to let Substance Painter know what it is. So an un undefined, we're just going to keep it as an alpha. If you have a texture, you can put it as a texture. But we're just going to keep it as alpha. And then import your resources too. So there's three options on here. There's current session, project, jade, toad, and then shelf, shelf. So current session is you're only going to be able to access that alpha in this time period that you have Substance Painter open. As soon as you close it, it's going to wipe that alpha. The project, obviously, is the project. So you'll only be able to find it within this one project, which is nice if you don't want to clutter your um, your shelf with unnecessary stamps when you're working on something very specific. And then shelf shelf is just, it's there forever. It's there in every project. So I'm just gonna go current session. You can choose whatever you want to use. And then you just go import. So now we can see my alpha down here under the alpha tab. Or if we go under all, we can search Nick. And here it is. So it's once you have a paint layer, so we'll need the paint layer here, add layer, and it already applied the alpha because I clicked on it, but, and then I can come in here, I can um, scale this up, and now I can paste the uh, alpha that I made all over, like so. And that's how you make a custom alphas strictly alphas um there's a different process when you're doing uh, colored textures and stuff but that's a whole separate topic 
All right, sweet and simple. Hopefully you learned something from this. And uh, if you like these substance meter videos, let me know. I'll see you next time.